<laughs> there you go, I think. Are we? Yes, we are. We are recording. <laughs> nice. All right. I'm more wrong, but I can't help it. So where do we start? Uh, I don't know. Um, we can start at the beginning. In the beginning. It was darkness, <laughs> it was light, <laughs> the darkness. <laughs> All right, okay, let's talk about Comic-Con. Um, mm-hmm. This is about our fourth year? Yeah, our fourth, since 2012, yeah. Our fourth year Comic-Con. Um, usually what we do is Alex and I go to Comic-Con. Uh, we hit Fridays and then we hit Sundays and we totally skip Saturdays because of the crowds. Um, and this this year, we did all three days. We did Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, I know there's, I've seen a lot of uh, YouTube videos up there about um, tips on Comic-Con, so a few tips that, that we've learned is comfortable shoes, dress comfortably, uh, you can geek out if you want, you know, you wear your favorite superhero shirt or whatever. It, it's, it's really cool. Um, snacks, drinks, book bag, uh, well, a book bag, right? A backpack. Um, and uh, lots of cash. Lots of cash. If you don't have any cash, then go with a friend who has lots of cash. So, um, and what else? What am I missing? A plan. Yeah. Go with a plan. Go in with in mind what you want to do. What your goal is. Three days, it's a lot more, uh, a lot more lenient. Two days, it's very much like, if you go back and look at the older videos, you'll see that you end up buying more stuff on a single day. While as this one, is different because I didn't like especially with my my buying of prints it wasn't a bunch just in one day it was like four one day and four the other day so I, until I have well I have eight and then I bought two more Sunday so I have ten altogether prints and I would have done the same thing the other years just all together in one day because this is all I have this is what time I need to spend Let's look around everything and buy what I think is cool out of it. Three days, it's kind of like, you can look around what's cool. You don't have to buy anything right then and there. You can look what you see, what you really want, what you think would be nice to have on your wall or wherever you're displaying it. And really just look around because then there's also, there's other stuff than just prints. Uh, there's artists that are, well, there's like, Artists who write and they make stories and they make their own comics and stuff like their booths are there and you can talk to them and check out their stuff. They're really cool. Really nice people. They're just out there like they're just creators that make stories and they give it to people. Of course like you have to buy it but it's not like outrageous like my girlfriend got a full on buck for like 20 bucks. It's like you could have done a lot worse someplace else. So it's really nice. And then you get you also get to meet the face of the product you're getting. So it's like you know the person. Like I bought the shutter, I know the artist. Like I, I know the artist. I'm pretty sure the person next to her was the writer. Uh, I'm not too sure about that one. But it's like you get to get to know the person. And that's what I think about the three days. It also kind of leaves you like dumbfounded I found by the third day I was like wow this is the third time I'm gonna be walking into the convention center for another day and then leaving I'm like and Monday is just gonna be a regular day and then the next weekend I get to work and one job doesn't even want to schedule me to work so reality it's in the face whenever it wants but yeah it's really cool I like going all three days. I like to make it a thing. Although, crowds, crowds are a bit much. Uh, 
be be ready for crowds. Friday isn't too bad. Um, it, it's a good number of people. You can actually like see halfway down the hall, and it won't be just mass crowding. Uh, Saturday is mass crowding. Maybe side by side. Sunday was like that too. We thought I, I honestly the Sunday was bad too. But it wasn't crazy. Like I didn't think Saturday was crazy. I actually think we got lucky Saturday because um it was nice out. So a lot of people went uh upstairs and outside on the second floor. No, yeah. third floor. Up on the third floor of the veranda. Yeah. So uh, there was a lot of uh, a good number of people up there, and then downstairs there was a lot of people. And then I think what made Sunday so crowded was that it was again a nasty hot day, so nobody wants to go up on the third floor because when we went up there, there really wasn't that many people up there compared to the second day. Because um, the second day, it was nice out, and it was basically like a cosplayer's dream. Unless you're wearing something skimpy or not, like, warm. Mm. Uh, so it was really nice for them to get out there and they can actually catch a breeze and take a load off before they go back downstairs and brave the crowds. Yeah, that, that's it from, from what I think. Anything? No. Here you go. The way, the way I planned, well, we were going for three days. What I do is, um, and what I suggest is this, if you're going to go for one day, you're really going to have to rush through, you're really going to have to plan where your stops are going to be, like you hit Artist Alley first, and then you hit your photo ops, or you get your autographs from uh, the, your celebrity guests that you want, and then you can go look at comic books. I want to do all that. I, um, so basically, I took Friday as that I, I wanted to get four artists. I want to get Eric Larson, Bernie Wrightson, um, Neil Adams, but he wasn't there this time, and um, who else? Oh uh, man, Marv Wolfman, and I ended up uh, getting somebody else, and I can't remember who it was. It was the fourth person. Oh, uh, I ended up getting uh, Dan. Oh, shoot, I can't remember his name. Oh, wow. Billy Tucci? Oh, yes, Billy, yeah, Billy T T Tucci. So I wanted Billy Tucci, Eric Larson, uh, <clears throat> Bernie Wrightson, and Marv Wolfman. So I wanted those four guys, so I was on a mission to get those signatures. Boom, that was it. Uh, Amanda, Connor, the line for, Pil for Pilates and Connor is just extremely long. So if you want them, you gotta get in, you gotta get right into their line right away. Um, Saturday was a photo op of William Shatner. So that was planned out with that. I, I got the regular the regular picture, which wasn't bad. It was $75 for that, the photo op. But if you're gonna do something, I think, I think getting the VIP experience is probably well worth it for an actor or an artist that's not going to be there again. Um, like Frank Miller was there, um, William Shatner was there. Um, so my plan was to get William Shatner and then I broke up I broke up from Alex and Crystal and I went and did my thing and they went and did their thing and then we met after. Um, so Sunday, Sunday was my comic book day where I grabbed all the comic books and we looked and I thought we missed the cosplay contest, but it was actually Sunday. We stayed for that, which was really awesome. The thing that I think that we have to get used to is the cosplayers are very, very cool. And uh, and as you'll see, I, I took I took some photos, and the photos really, they, to put it blankly, they suck. Um, we were off to the right of the stage, and we... We didn't go around. As each year I get older, I feel a little creepy when I start taking pictures of, of young women and, and scantily clad. So I don't want to freak these girls out. I'm not a weirdo or anything, but I, I love the design of the costumes. I've always been a fan of, of superheroes, you know, male and female. And hey, I'm still a guy, and I look at it and I say, wow, these, these girls are pretty fucking hot. 
So, uh, but that being what it is, I'm, I'm, I can be their grandfather, so I gotta really be cool about that and not gawk. But the costumes that they put together are fantastic. The, art, the artwork that they put into it, the, the craftsmanship is just fantastic. And you're just in awe at how these people are. So we went and we saw the uh, cosplay contest, and um, that was excellent. And one of the one of the guys, uh, I guess he's been there for five years, and he's been hosting it. He's joined the Marine Corps. I was I was in the Marines for for six years. So when he said that, I said, "Wow, that's that's pretty cool." His life is going to change drastically. Um, but I like to I like to do a shout out for everybody who's watching the videos that that Alex makes and I make, and um, who uh, are interested in. The Comic Cons, and this is this is the thing that what's going on in the United States with all the racial profiling and anger and stuff. I like to say that I was I was truly truly impressed and in awe of everybody who's at the Comic Con. There had to be a couple of thousand, three thousand people maybe at the Comic Con. It, it was just all three days, all three days, that many people in hot, humid weather, crammed in together. It was, wasn't one fight, nothing. It was so peaceful, and I mean, there was people from all over, <clears throat> whether you're heterosexual, gay, whatever, black, yellow, white, we all, we all just meshed together and were, were helpful to each other and we just had a great time together. That's the way it's supposed to be. And I don't think you can get that anywhere else but in, in our little hobby, in our little world. So uh, kudos to every nerd and geek out there and 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 you and you classic geeks, you know, the guys that, that and, and girls that are, are afraid to hey be a little geeky, why not? It's cool to be a geek now. I, I remember when I first started, it was tough. But you know what? You guys are great. You guys are awesome. I hope you enjoy our videos. Um, and we love doing them. We love going every year. And uh, it's a tradition for us now. And um, just go out and have fun. Prepare. Hey. We're going. I heard it. Yeah. Okay. For the third time. <laughs> Yeah, the other one was a little bit too long. Yeah, we did another, we just did two, a uh, two-party. But you aren't going to get that one. You're going to no. get tips and tricks. Yeah, that one was, and then that one get a little dark on us. We, we started going off on all kinds yeah. of stupid shit. Yeah. Um, so, I think we, we left off with um, uh, the, the cosplay stuff. I uh, want to say, you know, how great everything is. How um, we... We really enjoy looking at all different costumes, the the craftsmanship that goes into it, the artwork that you guys do. Um, you know, I, I like to take pictures, but um, I'm a little bit old for that. I don't want to creep the girls out. Um, and Alex is just a wee bit shy, so. Um, uh, what I did want to do is a shout out that um, I really love like the Bat in the Sun videos. If if you if you go to YouTube, look at Bat in the Sun, where they have the little the uh, the battles between the the superheroes, and you get the vote on who wins. Um, and that was a that was a big there was a big shout out during the cosplay uh, contest about that about Batman kicking Deadpool's ass. And uh, there's some good YouTubes by uh, P D uh, D Pity D Pity D Pity. And uh, I'm dyslexic, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, <yes>, too. <laughs> oh, oh boy! And uh, Johnny Sweets, beautiful voice, beautiful voice. But he he did um, he did uh, two videos that I really liked, which has Charmy Sweets singing in it. So uh, check check those out on on his YouTube site. Uh, what's his name? I keep getting backwards. I keep it's, it. it's D D pity D D <laughs> slash pity P I D D Y. Yeah, I'm all there. Um, so we would just want to say thank you, and uh, we think that you know the whole the whole atmosphere is really terrific, and thank you guys for being so awesome. Yeah.
Uh, that's really it. It's just uh, it, it's like it's one thing to to go and look at everything and see all people's prints, stories, booths, and stuff. But like it's also uh, the people there, like the attendees, like us, like everybody there, like everybody's connecting for the same reason. Um, it's a mass group of people who are all nerds, um, and they're just doing their thing. It's it's. It's really all all around, like despite all the cool stuff that there that's there. It's really nice just going and knowing that everybody there is like together for one thing. It's just nerd yeah. stuff. It's very nerd cool. stuff. And yeah, what's going to be attached to to this video is um, the two or three videos that I had filmed for the cosplay contest, where. Um, I, I forget the kid's name, but he plays Deadpool and he's been hosting it and he's going into Marines and uh, I wish him the best of luck and uh, you know, hope to see you guys next year and thank you for watching the videos and if you see us, come up and say hi and uh, more than happy to say hi and talk and have fun and chill out and have a great time. Um, yeah, Sam. All right. Take care. Crowd uh, yeah. Very cool. How is that the remote control battery? Of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> Sounds like Alfred for a second. <laughs> Alright, what else you got? Of course. Cool story, yes. <laughs> Batman is just a symbol. Any one of you could be Batman. For all the little kids out there, don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do anything. Because Batman believes in you, so you can do it. <laughs> you can't be Batman. And when you're over there training, if you need any wing tech, I have somebody that might be. Oh, Batman. Come here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm gonna miss you too. Give them a pass. Yeah, it does, Dad. I'm kind of a mess right now. <laughs> Alright, Dad, man, give him a pose. Alright, <laughs> Dad, man. Close the elevator. <laughs> you stole my guns. What? You stole my guns. Who stole your guns? Bad? Brought so many people out of their shells, including myself. <laughs> but anyways, on behalf of everyone, you are the sweetest. You are the most adorable little thing. Even though I can't stand when you put your hands on my merchandise. <laughs> but I wish you the best of luck on everything you do. You are one of the nicest people I've ever met. You are so great to everyone every time they come on stage. Oh, stop it. I want to thank you. Oh, thanks, buddy. Come here. Sit back, guys. Sit back, guys. Sit back, guys. this man has helped me be a he's big, big inspiration. I don't tell you that enough. <laughs> Anyways, no, he's a really big inspiration because he's helped me get out of character a lot of times for contests and stuff like that. He stays true to his character and his, his, his dedication to making these costumes. Look how ugly this thing is. It's so beautiful, right? Hey, 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 shh. Deadpool talks enough. <laughs> you guys are all beautiful and I want everyone to give each other a round of applause for this right now. for everything he's ever done for this cosplay community by keeping positivity and helping people come out of their shell. But 
I want to thank you, Pop. Seriously. Thanks, bro. Thank you, buddy. cosplay that you guys see that you really enjoy, please give a nice big round of applause. Give a round of applause to everybody because they're all outstanding.